Anfield still has an air of a fortress to most sides. Villa's last win here was in 1977. But with Dalian Atkinson back in the side to partner Dean Saunders, there was optimism. Atkinson made an explosive start. His shot deflected off Mike Hooper's foot. But when he picked up a groin injury, Villa's chances suddenly looked reduced. Liverpool's unremitting pressure finally told John Barnes scoring a goal of the highest calibre when the chance appeared to have gone. After the interval, Villa's luck suddenly changed. A goal out of nothing for Gary Parker. The comeback was on. Villa's winner was Route 1, a terrible mess coming up in the Liverpool defence, and Dean Saunders back on the goal trail. Villa's first double over Liverpool in 40 years, and for them, a real boost to their championship hopes. I don't think I've played in the team that's even scored at Liverpool, let alone win the game, so I'm going to have a few lemonades tonight. Yes, it tells you a little bit about a team's championship credentials when they can come and win here. Well, um, we're up there and we can, we, all we can do is win games and if we keep winning away from home and uh, winning the home games, then uh, we, you know, we, we're going to be up there as long as we possibly can. I like coming, yeah. Um, it, it really gets me wound up. And, and because you've got to give Liverpool a lot of respect to the, to the, the best team, you know, and when teams come here, they've got nothing to lose, just go out and enjoy it. And uh, that's what I do and lucky for me, I'm always on the winning side. So the Villa and Dean Saunders show moves to Twerton Park for a vital FA Cup replay against Bristol Rovers on Wednesday. The Liverpool victory, the perfect tonic.